Hello YouTube, I'm the Planet Rocks, and welcome back to another playthrough of Our Life. Uh, so yeah, I am uh, just going to go ahead and dive right into it. want to remind you to uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications, and please do like this video. Be sure to comment. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitch, you can follow me on Twitter, you can also like and follow my page on Facebook. So without further ado, let's begin. Kira walked ahead towards your house, and you hung back with Cove, who wrinkled his nose as he watched her. Sorry. I'm sorry about her, but I really do want you to come. I don't want it to be just the two of us, not right now. You leaned in closer and whispered while checking around for anyone who might hear. What happened? Did your dad know you were gone? Cove shook his head and sighed heavily. Dad was so focused on Mom showing up that he didn't even notice. I thought when I heard them on the phone last night that it was something they were planning for the future. This morning Dad said it was supposed to be a surprise, and I guess I was surprised. She's going to be here all summer. Oh. You were surprised to hear that too. Cove sighed again, even heavier. I'll go with you, if you really want me to. He smiled, his shoulders relaxing a little in relief. Thanks. That'd be cool. The two of you headed over to where Cove's mom had just knocked on your front door and stood behind her. Mom answered the front door after a minute, her eyebrows lifting in surprise at the group she found in front of her. You realized that, like you, she would have no idea that it was Cove's mom who was hanging with you. However, after blinking at the woman a couple of times and looking between her and Cove, the realization seemed to strike on her. Hello there, I'm Pamela. I see you've met my kid, Jamie, and I'm guessing you've already known Cove for a while. Kira laughed, and you and Cove exchanged looks at your parents' weird sense of humor. I'm Kira Priest, Cove's mom. It's so nice to meet you. A head of purple brown hair caught your eyes as Ma popped up behind Mom, squeezing herself in beside her. We have company. I was wondering what all the commotion was. She grinned exactly. Excitedly at Kira, the two of them introduced themselves and shook hands. Hello. Hi, Jamie. Cove. Cove smiled at Ma shyly, and she gestured a hand towards the living room. There's no use hanging around in the doorway. Why don't you come in? I'd love to, but I promised to take my son out to eat, and I wouldn't want to hold you up with a surprise visit. Uh, I understand. You're welcome to stop by any time. Of course. I'll take you up on the offer when I can. Count on it. Would you mind too much if Jamie went with Cove and I? My treat. We won't be driving, just a quick walk down the road. Sure, that sounds nice. Have fun. I hope you all have fun. You're, you gave your moms a look and they smiled at you fondly. You were happy they were letting you go. You could tell that Cove really needed the support and you were ready to be there for him. Marvelous. Expect us back in an hour or two. We look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Your parents waved goodbye to the three of you as you backed up onto the street. There was the sound of the front door closing behind you. I'm pretty positive I saw some restaurants when I was in the taxi not too far from here. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tourist town, isn't it? There's a lot of them around. It was kind of strange to see Cove give someone this much attitude. If he wasn't in the mood to be nice, he generally just kept to himself. Kira put her hands on her hips and smiled at her son. Well. You sound like the area expert. Do you have any recommendations for a place nearby? Not really. Kira pouted at him a little and turned to you instead. How about you, Jamie? Want to point me in the right direction? You nodded. You'd been to a lot of places in town, so you knew a couple of good ones. There's a Chinese restaurant that me and my family go to all the time. It's my mom's favorite. There's also a tropical-themed place that tries to be sort of fancy. Both sound like a treat. I'll leave it to you to pick for us, since Cove is going through a phase over there. He huffed at her and turned his face away. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Will you show us the way? You nodded, taking the lead of your little group as Cove and his mom followed behind you. 
Together, the three of you left the neighborhood behind. The walk was about 15 minutes, and along the way, Kira asked a lot of questions about the area. Cove was quiet most of the time, so you ended up answering her instead. Kira explained that she lived in a large city, and she loved how peaceful and relaxing everything seemed in Sunset Bird. The restaurant was busy as usual, but luckily you were shown right to a small table. Kira lowered herself into the chair, while Cove picked the one diagonal to her, not facing her or to her side. It was awkward. Ahem. Let's see, to start, what would you all like to drink? I'll get an orange soda. Noted. Jamie? Hmm. Which flavor? Yeah, cola. Sure. Kira placed the order for your drinks, getting a black hot coffee for herself, and it didn't take long before they were brought to the table and set in front of you. You took a long sip of your drink as you looked around the restaurant. Your small group checked over the menus and you decided to order a, a usual thing. You had been to this restaurant many times, so you knew what was good and what wasn't already. Kira and Cove didn't need any encouragement for this. They were totally focused on the information in front of them. Soon the meals too were ordered and the menus taken away. You glanced at the table surface waiting to figure out what to say. Cove sunk back further into his seat and avoided eye contact. He started to twiddle his thumbs while acting like all this was perfectly normal. His sour feelings today were unignorable. Instead of asking more open questions he'd brush off, Kira had mercy on her son and instead put her focus towards you. So? So, Jamie, what's a few things that you're into? There's got to be something you do for fun, especially now that you're not buried in school assignments. Um... I like to read. Um... Poetry. Sophisticated beyond your years, I see. Mm. Me too. Nothing beats curling up with a good book. Okay, so I guess... Yeah, I like manga. I haven't heard of that style, but I'm sure it's very good. Uh, yeah, nonfiction. I'll bet you know about a lot of things then. And, okay, so I like to watch. Games are fun. Okay, games. Video games. You can show me sometime. And, alright, I don't get... Am I supposed to say I'm really into Cove? Am I supposed to say that? Oh, gosh. I don't want to do that. It would just... You know. He was trying not to pay attention, but you could tell he was uncomfortable. Hoping it would clear some of the tension in the air, you decided to ask Kira a few questions of your own. Cove hadn't told you much about her, and you were curious to know more about this woman, who was such a big part of his life. What exactly do you do for work? I am a travel writer for magazines and things. I keep people in the loop on what's worth seeing. It's good work. Wow. What do you like to do? Why did you and Mr. Holden get divorced? Holy shit, that's, um... Uh... God, no, I better not. I better not. No, what do you like to do? Spend time with my little boy, of course, and traveling. A real shock, huh? Oh my god, I just so want to do it, but I think it would just... Where do you live normally? Nevada. Have you ever been there? No, you shook your head. It's a beautiful place. Check it out if you can. Are you in a relationship now? Why did you and Mr. Holden get divorced? Oh my god. I, uh, no, I'm not doing it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. It didn't seem to bother her that the conversation dropped off. Cove sipped his soda angrily, slurping up the remaining drink with furrowed brows. He looked ready to run straight out of the restaurant. You weren't sure if coming along had ended up making the lunch better or worse. Um, I'm going to smile at him. 
Cove eventually noticed you watching him. It took a couple of moments, but finally he cracked a smile, and that made you feel a little light inside. Very cute. You two seem really cute together. <laughs> Cove covered his face with his hands and leaned back in his seat. Seriously? Mom, why would you say that? You felt bothered too. You blushed. Thanks. We are cute. You just laughed. Um, I, I'm so. I really. <laughs> God, that would not be me. I just laughed. That was definitely unexpected, and there didn't seem to be any other way you could react. Yeah, your meals were delivered shortly after that, and everything was so delicious. Even Cove enjoyed his food. Okay. All right. Now that we're all full and content, can you? Explain, please, why you've had a bug up your butt all day? Cove's face scrunched at that. Seriously, baby, what did Mom do to make you this mad? I haven't even been around a full day yet. He gripped the edge of the table, refusing to make eye contact. The words he spoke were barely audible over the din of the restaurant. You could have told me. She leaned forward to not miss anything else, eyebrows raised. Told you what? He finally seemed to find his voice and spoke the thoughts that had been on his mind. That I wasn't going to visit you this year, that you were going to be coming instead. Didn't you invite me? You wanted me here with you? Cove's eyes began to shake and his frustration ebbed. I don't. I do want you to be around, but I didn't know it'd be like this. It's not the same. And nobody said anything. I see. Her expression grew tense. She threaded her fingers together and placed her hands in front of her on the table. We've both been gifted another Clifford surprise. Referring to that as a Clifford surprise almost caused both you and Cove to crack a smile. You also had no idea his name wasn't just Cliff. Over five years, nobody had ever called him Clifford until now. She smoothed her hair out, not letting go her stern look. The more things change, the more they stay the same. They let out identical smiles. They let out identical sighs, but smiled weakly at one another afterwards. I'm sorry. I can go home, Cove. We can still set up a normal trip to my place before the summer ends. Cove's lips tightly closed together. He seriously pondered the option. I mean. I... I think I do want you to stay. I miss it when you're not there. My heart. She reached across the gap, grabbed his face, and planted a kiss on his cheek. Cove tried to wiggle away. Mom, stop. I'm sorry. Sweet young men need to be smooched by their parents. If I don't, they'll take away my mom license. Kira was completely enthused by Cove's admission though a tone of seriousness did return to her voice when the conversation continued. Do you want to talk to your dad, too? No. No. Cove had snapped the word instantly, but reeled his annoyance back in just as quickly. Maybe later, not today. It's all right. I understand. We can shelve it. Thanks, Mom. Thank you for talking to me, little mister. She grinned affectionately at him before turning your way. And thank you, Jamie. Huh? What did I do? It's easy to act like a baby with your mom. It's harder to keep that up with your neighbor watching everything. Especially when you really care about what said neighbor thinks of you. She winked. Mom. She just ruffled his hair with a laugh, then moved her hand down to tap the end of his nose. And that was how the issue was resolved, at least between Cove and his mom. When the three of you left the restaurant and Kira had paid the bill, you walked back to your neighborhood slowly. You had eaten so much by that time you were beginning to feel sleepy. It didn't help that the lunch had happened late and the sun was already beginning to descend from the sky. But eventually you reached your street. Someone was there to greet your group upon arrival. Welcome back, family. And Jamie, too. Huh. Cliff. Dad. The two walked past him into the condo without sparing another word. Despite the summer heat, their shoulders were cold. <laughs> uh oh, I'm in trouble. 
He rubbed the back of his neck with a crooked smile, but his eyes were soft as he looked on after them. He's so much like his mom, don't you think? You gave a vague nod, not sure what he was expecting you to do. He nodded back far more energetically. Okay, have a nice night, Jamie. You too, Mr. Holden. With that, Cove's dad disappeared to join the others inside. It was your turn to go home now. Summer hadn't started off at all how you imagined it would have, though it turned out to set the tone well. Having Kira in the neighborhood was a new experience for not only you and Cove, but also both your families, and a dull moment was rarely had. Alrighty, guys. Uh... It has been fun. Um, that was a very, very long prologue. I'm uh, sorry it lasted as long as it did. Um, so yeah, next time we'll be starting with Wave. Um, I am the Planet Rocks. Hit the bell for notifications. Subscribe to my channel. Do like this video and comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. And also like and follow me on Facebook. Thank you very much. I am the Planet Rocks, and I'll see you next week.